ES Audio. Hi, I'm John Weeks, and this is the Evening Standards Tech and Science Daily. Coming up, how Wikipedia editors recorded history in real time. But first, tech leaders have been joining millions of people around the world in paying tribute to Queen Elizabeth following her death at the age of 96. Amazon founder Jeff Bezos offered his deep condolences and said he could think of no one who could better personify duty. Apple boss Tim Cook said there's nothing more noble than to devote your life to the service of others. And Bill Gates recalled being honoured to meet the Queen and said he was very sad to hear of her passing. Despite telling Bill Gates that she didn't have a computer in 2005, the Queen is considered a pioneer in the use of technology and there was a lot of change during her time. In the 70 odd years since she's reigned on the throne, there have been amazing transformations, people in space, new technology, a consumer revolution, so lots of gadgets to help us. That's royal historian Sarah Richardson, who says Elizabeth was always interested in how tech could bring her closer to people and inspire others. Even as a young girl, she participated in radio broadcasts during the war, to boost morale both in Britain but also her allies across the world, which was a use of sort of new technology and a new way of communicating. The Queen's coronation at Westminster Abbey was one of the earliest live televised events. She sent one of the first emails during a visit to an army base in 1976. And she got the royal family on YouTube less than two years after it was founded, after listening to advice from Princesses Beatrice and Eunice. Sarah Richardson says Elizabeth's embrace of tech also made her a role model for many. As a woman at the top of the state, she's provided a role model for the things that women can do and forged the way and proven that the monarchy can be as relevant and as as important in the current day as it was when she came to the throne in 1953. Now, in the moments after the announcement, the entire site's traffic, like we're talking all of Wikipedia, is somewhere between doubled and tripled. The Queen's death is the biggest historic event to ever be recorded in real time on Wikipedia. Tech journalist Annie Rewerda, who also runs the Depths of Wikipedia account on Twitter, says volunteer editors rushed to overhaul the internet's encyclopedia. The Wikipedia edits were pretty immediate. BBC announced Queen Elizabeth's death at 17.31 Greenwich Mean Time, and seconds later, an edit came in from an anonymous user that updated her page on her death. And Annie says the work had actually begun before the announcement came. After that first edit, There were a slew of edits, Um, about 50 edits within the next 15 minutes. Some are pretty obvious, like past tense. They updated her info box with the length of her reign, but they also did some behind the scenes type of edits. For example, they changed the categories. She's not gonna be in the category of living people anymore. A task force called Wiki Project London Bridge was set up with six members who took charge of maintaining the site's updates, which proved a bit tricky. Pretty much all day on September 8th, Elizabeth's article was getting a lot of attention and Wikipedia editors were talking on the talk page of the article about what they were going to do when she eventually died. One example of something they talked about was what are they going to change the photo to? Generally on Wikipedia when someone dies you use a really good historical photo rather than a recent elderly photo. You're up to date. Come back at 4pm for the Leader podcast for more on Queen Elizabeth II and the royal family's new line of succession. We'll be back on Monday at 1pm. See you then.